Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and it's time for NFL Picks. I know, NFL Picks. I'm filming this very early and you know, this is how it goes. And hopefully the, the new way I upload this uploads it on time. I don't know. Anyways, I'm crazy busy. There's a snowstorm outside. We got already 20 centimeters of snow and it looks like we're gonna get about another 10 or 15. This is crazy! We're talking week nine of the NFL. <laughs> oh, 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 and I gotta, I gotta get, with all this work, a lightning video done in a snowstorm. Oh, this is, this is not going well. Anyways, Philadelphia at Houston. Thursday night picks, you know how I feel about it. Definitely could go Houston's way. I don't think they're good enough. Philadelphia win this game. It will not be a blowout. Next up, we got Los Angeles Chargers going into Atlanta. And everybody's on the Atlanta bandwagon. Atlanta's cost me some wins this year. But I'm going to go with the Chargers, even though they're not a very good team. But I think maybe they'll get up for this one. Who knows? Miami going into Chicago. And everyone's going against my Bears. But I got Bear Coffee. Mmm. 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 Mm, that Bear Coffee's good. I'm going with the Bears, because it's at home. And a few things happened at the trade ten line and everything like that. And you know, I'm just kind of thinking. Bear time. Next up we got Carolina going into Cincinnati, and Carolina should have won last week. Quite frankly, I don't really care. Uh, I don't know who this receiver is. Uh, I watched the game, I saw the penalty, it cost them the game. I would trade him. Just me. You've been around long enough, you should know. How to, how to react. And, and you didn't. You thought about yourself. Next up, we got the Packers. Oh, I just threw up a little bit going into the Lions. And the Lions are a terrible team. But I'm taking the Lions. Because the Packers is a worse team. They're terrible. Absolutely terrible. Next up, we got the Raiders going into the Jaguars. Coach is going to get fired if the Raiders don't win. So I'm going to go with the Raiders. Indy going into New England. Now, like last week, I picked the Jets to beat New England. And, of course, New England goes in there and makes the Jets look like we thought they were. Uh, O-N-17. Uh, I'm going to take New England because it's at home. Uh, Buffalo going into the Jets. Buffalo is clicking. Starting to click. Are they overconfident? Will the Jets beat them? Could happen. Happens all the time. But I'm going to take the Bills. Just maybe. Minnesota going into Washington. Washington loves to win games by one point. And I think Washington will win this game by one point. Next up, we got uh, Seattle going to Arizona. And Seattle's playing much better. This is a home team for Arizona, a home game for Arizona. So I'm going to pick Arizona, even though they're in a shambles. But they got the pieces. They just need to put them together. Next up, we've got the Rams going into Tampa Bay. I would normally pick the Rams over the old man. But the Rams have injuries. Just don't know if they can win another game. I mean, they lost half the team. Literally lost half the team. You can't lose half. You can't lose that many people and win. You just can't. Uh, I know I give the Rams a hard time. Always have given the Rams a hard time. And uh, at the beginning of the season, I was really giving them a hard time. But uh, after I went through the team and how many people they've lost, and, and uh, it, it's just, I just don't see how they can win another game. So I'm going to take the old man uh, to win this one in a squeaker. Three points. Tennessee going into Kansas City. And everybody's going to take Kansas City to win because it's a home game. And I got to tell you, I should be picking Kansas City on this, but I'm not. I'm going to take Tennessee. It's stupid, but I'm going to do it. Next up, we got Baltimore going into New Orleans. New Orleans won last week. Woo-wee! New Orleans is back. Uh, no, I'm going to take Baltimore. And uh, again, it's not going to be a big uh, blowout game. I really don't think so. I think it's going to be very, very close and come down to the fourth quarter. But I'm going to pick the Ravens. They, they, uh, 
stole our linebacker from uh, Chicago, and it will really help their defense. Uh, the Ravens are not as good as you think they are. At least I don't think they are. Um, they got a lot of things they got to fix fix up, but uh, I'm going to take the Ravens in this one. And those are my picks. And uh, last week I got eight correct, which was amazing because I've got to be honest with you, I thought it was going to get zero. Just zero, the way it started out. And uh, But it turned out okay. And once again, my $2 Sports Select bet, 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 bet turned into nothing. So I'm running zero. Only got one right. Very pathetic. Pathetic. But it's just how it goes. As a quote from an NFL player last week, I like to quote where they were talking about how they were six and one and the media's jumping on the bandwagon. And they said the difference between six and one and one and six is not very much. And he's absolutely correct in saying that. The difference between six and one and one and six is not very much. So have a great week. Have a great weekend. I got a snowstorm. I got minus 15. Uh, phew, thank you very much for having a four-wheel drive electric truck. And we'll see you in the future.